Hello everyone, in this tutorial we will create these kind of hard surface tubes or pipes and we have the full control with the splines and we can create unlimited amount of objects with that technique and we can also change them with whatever we want, whenever we want So let's start. Let's start with the first object. I will create a cylinder and I will change my orientation to plus X so I can see it from the front. And I will make my height 1000 and set my radius to something like 20. And I will also turn off my caps. Now I will duplicate my cylinder and turn off the first one so I can use that later now also I will make my rotation segments 8 and set my height segments to something like 50 now I will make that editable press C switch to polygon mode and so click here now I will make some selection to continue press shift and also let's do the same thing here something like that then I will right click and normal scale now I will drag, drag my mouse So I will get something like that. Let's put that into subdivision surface. Press Alt and click here. So I will need some sporting edges. Let's turn that off. Right click, loop cuts. And make some loop cuts right around these edges. Okay, let's see. Press Q to enable subdivision surface. And I will press N and A to switch my view. Or you can just play. Uh, player press here. Display lines or normal shading. So that looks good, but I want to add some details. So I will duplicate the first cylinder. Enable that. And I will move it somewhere here. And also I will shrink that. Something like 5. And also rotation segments. Let's make that 8. Duplicate that. And let's make a one more here. Now I will select all the objects and press Alt and G to make them one group. And I will just delete that. So that was my first object. Press rename that to M1. And I will hide that. Now I will duplicate that cylinder, enable that. This time I will set my rotation segments to 6 and I will give something like, let's make it 40 segments. Make it editable, press C, switch to edge mode, select all, press Ctrl A and select bevel. In the options, check limit let's undo that check limit select all and move your mouse all the way up okay now i will select all my points ctrl a right click and optimize 
So optimize, we will remove the duplicated points. Now I will switch to polygon mode, select all, right click and extrude inner. And uncheck preserve groups. But if you can see, if I do extrusion like that, it's not gonna be good. So I will just make a small extrude like point one, and then hit apply. Then I will right click and select normal scale. So this is gonna be smoother. Now I can delete these polygons. Now I will select all my, all my polygons, right click and subdivide. We will use shrink deformer, so we will need more polygons. I will duplicate one more time that cylinder. And make it a little smaller. Now I will select that object, press shift and select shrink wrap. In the target object tab, I will put that cylinder. So it looks like that cylinder should be smaller. And longer. Like that one. So we get something like that. Now I will select my object, right click and say current state, state to object. Now I can delete that object, also that one. Now I will select all my polygons, right click and extrude. And check the create caps. And make something like that. I will duplicate that original cylinder one more time, enable that, make it smaller, and I will turn on caps. And change the rotation segments to 8 and make that editable. But before editable, make, making it editable, I will give segments because we will need more subdivision. Okay, let's make that editable. I will select that cap, right click, extrude inner, but remember to turn on preserve groups. Press Ctrl and make an extrusion. And we can delete that polygon. Let's do the same thing here. Select, extrude inner, move, and just delete. We can add some loop cuts also. Okay, let's select these three two objects. Press Alt and G and I will rename them, rename them M2. Now we can move to the spline part. But before that, let's make a new deformer, spline wrap. And it is facing the right way, X axis. I will select my object, a group, press Alt and select connect object and put my spline wrap, wrap in that connect object so it can work. I will, now I will make a spline so we can put that here. So go to pen, select pen. And I will select B spline. Now I will make a shape something like that. Okay, 
Okay, let's put the spline into the spline wrap. So we get something like that. I can easily select points of the spline and move them. Whatever I like. The cool part is that now I can I can go to pen and draw multiple splines. Like let's make a new one right here. Select spline. And let's make another one. But let's make it around here. Okay, looks good. If you remember, we made another object, uh, sorry, a group. So I will just duplicate my connect object, press Ctrl and delete the M2 model group and I will replace with my M1 and turn on the visibility. But I need to change my spline, they are overlapping. So I will go to spline wrap and remove that spline. Now I will make a new spline. So don't select that first spline. And let's make something like similar to these ones. Now I will select spline wrap, put my, my new spline here. But as you can see, that part isn't working because they don't have any subdivision like these vertical lines. So I will select them and make let's make thirty subdivisions. And we can also move them. Yeah, now we can modify the spline. See which points mod. If you have a hard time to select the points, just see which to lines mod. Select all the points. So you can see where are they. Let's make another spline. And let's make it here. And I will turn off the visibility of the spline wrap deformers. Okay, let's put these connect, connect objects into subdivision surface, press select them, press alt and select subdivision surface. Same one here. We get something like that. This is because of the connect object as weld option is turned on. So turn that off. Also change the perform mode to average. Let's do the same thing here. So now we can have Unlimited splines, but just select spline 
one. Go to pen mode and draw whatever you want. But when you finish your drawing, the pen tool will want to move on or continue. So just press escape and make any one. We can also duplicate one of them and remove the spline and make a new one. Uh, let's make that the big one and put that new spline into the spline tab. This time I will just scale my M2 object something like that but you can see it doesn't work because my X axis is turned on I don't want that so it's time we can scale the object Except the x axis on the y and z. Let's make a, a new one. Let's try one more time. Table spline one. Create a new spline. Put that new spline into the spline group. And let's make that bigger. But you need to make the cylinders editable, so select them. Let's see. Now they will be bigger. You can always go back and make some adjustments. Like this one. This one. Or create new splines just select the spline select the pen so that was it guys thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next tutorial bye